Hey guys, we're back. We um, have the option of going to Toad's apartment where he called in and apparently the someone is ransacking the woodsman's stuff upstairs and he sounded like he might be in trouble. Or we can go to Prince Lawrence's apartment and we saw in the mirror that Prince Lawrence is sitting next to a bloody dagger in a pile of blood. So, um, Fireweaver, you wanted to go to Toad's apartment first? I do, yeah, because I think Lawrence is just dead, straight up dead. I am going to disagree with you and we're going to Lawrence's apartment first. Okay. You think you're he did the, it? What's her husband's name? the controller of Parfait. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. I think that was the murder weapon that we saw. Not sure. It was bloody. We did see that in the mirror. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's focus on what we saw in the mirror. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well... Like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Okay. Yep. Let's get stuck on the mailbox. Well, this doesn't look like the same street that we saw the woodsman at, so... Yep, it's probably unrelated. All right. Um, let's just see if the door's open. No. Nope. Lawrence, you in there? Let's try knocking. Hey, open up. It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Hmm, maybe we'd have to find another way inside. So... Oh, there's a drain pipe. Try climbing the drain pipe. Open window. Oh, yeah. Hey! Easy. Hey! Alright, we'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. Next like two people's wound. dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? Like wound. I don't know, Snow. Was that bullet casing on the floor? Mm-hmm. Looks like it. And he might have been dead for a few days. Yeah, looks kind of like it. Lots of... Yeah. Which probably takes out the theory of him kind of doing the murder and then shooting himself. That left a mark. Ruined his shirt. They never really look peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. Dry. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. So this is uh, either it was suicide or it's made to look like suicide. Yeah, that appears to be the case. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Oh, 
Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. That doesn't really help. Just want to turn it off. Leave me alone. Is that the bullet hole that has potentially gone through? Yeah, I think so. Uh, use gun with bullet hole. Snow, could you uh, stand over there? Point towards Lawrence, as if you're the shooter. This is... feels strange. So, more than one shot was fired. What are you thinking? The slug should have gone over there, right behind him. Not here. Right. So the shooter stood somewhere else. Maybe. Or we don't have the whole story. I mean, if he shot himself, that's pretty likely. It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? To shut him up, usually. Mm -hmm. He knows something. He knows something, I should say. Still a little sticky. Yep. So, two murders may have taken place here. Or attempted. Uh, that'd be one of those beds, I guess. Yeah. Oh, lots of stuff. Son of a. We got a right, note. That... Oh, no. It's stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you. And I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. So it was probably suicide. Well, I should know his face. He didn't have to be the one who. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my god, Rigby, he's alive! Oh, hi. What? What oh are God, you doing? Dead. Let's get you He's back up. Game. Oh, what are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart. Have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you uh, saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She... came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I... I didn't find it till later. We've been... separated for some time now. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. You probably hit a lung. Great. <sighs> At least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. 
I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Your wife is missing. What? Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. I knew this would happen. Fuck, Georgie. Georgie? Yeah, who's Georgie? Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. Are we about to meet Georgie? We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun, just in case. What's he looking for? Not sure. Oh, jump out. Hey. <gasps> Stay here. No. You spooked him. Yeah, he was going for the closet. Hey, yeah, stop. Like Leave me alone. I wanted to get the jump on him before he got the jump on me. Get him. Oh my god. Uh, uh, kill, some more. <laughs> uh, yeah, one's open, I guess. Out the window. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Happened to fall down quite a lot. <laughs> hey! Yeah, that could have been bad. <laughs> Blindly jumping He's out up windows. Me. We're on the same side here. You. Son of a bitch. What were you doing back there? Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? Same thing you should be doing. Investigating. Looking for clues. The fuck you doing hiding in closets? Fuck, man. Fuck, man! Doesn't look like he's looking for clues. I'm asking the questions. He's looking for something specifically. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. Uh, who's your boss? Who's your employer? 
I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No. I'm D. He's dumb. Ooh. Ooh. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. You almost looked peaceful. I'm getting properly engrossed in this now. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. I'm Captain Obvious. Let me help you book a room. What happened? <laughs> Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. <laughs> 